What's up guys, welcome back to Ify Chronicles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go from zero to hero using Dex Screener. And hopefully this can help you out with your crypto journey. So here, when we go to DexScreener.com, this is the main page that we're gonna be getting. And also a quick note here, if you wanna use um, Dex tools, um, you can do it because it is very similar to Dex Screener. It is only my preference. I actually like Dex Screener a little bit more. So that's why I'm going to be using it as an example today. So here, when we go to the website, we have um, 24 hour volume. We have 24 hour transactions. We have some pairs here, which is, um, let's see, WBNB to USDT. We have the price. We have the amount of transaction taken within the last 24 hours. We have the volume makers which is the amount of wallets i'm um, trading that pair we have the five minutes one hour six hours changes um 24 hour liquidity and fully dilated market cap on the left side we have the watch list we have the alerts multi charts new pairs gainers and losers trends and we can also filter some using um, the blockchains so starting from the top we have the search bar on the search bar, you can type the token name, the pair, or the contract address. I will always, always go with the contract address because there is a lot of scammers creating new tokens, fake tokens, rug pulls, just to, just to make some money and run the fuck away. So always make sure that you are on the right one and you're getting the right information because the X screener, they are not filtering rug pulls they are not fil filtering fake projects they're just getting all the information all the tokens that are created online and from there um you actually have to do the your due diligence to make sure that you are on the right token pair so we're going to use an example here which is um the token from ben eth and quick note here i am not interested in that project i do not hold that project I actually don't like it. I'm just using it as an example. So we have the contract address. I'm gonna just copy it. Let's go here. We're gonna paste it. And as you can see, we are getting three different options. So what I said before is that there is a lot of people creating fake tokens. That's why you gotta make sure that you are actually on the right one. You can even see that that guy or girl or developer, they created the token um, 17 hours before the right token was created. So be super, super safe. From there, you can click on that icon to add it to your watch list, but I'm gonna click on the first one just to show you how I can make sure that I am on the right one. So if we go here, we have all the information. We have the price action showing up here. We have some buys and sells, which is updating live. We have some information here. And if we go down here, we can see the contract address of the project. So since I already copied the contract address, I'm gonna just paste it here and make sure it is the right one. So we have 0x300, 0x300, it is ending on 53v3, 53v3, I can even copy it. Just make sure we have 700, a three E A A. Let's make sure it is the same one. Seven hundred three A A nine five. So it is actually the, the right one. So we are on the right one here. So let's go ahead and review the, the dashboard. So here we have the price action. Um, they're actually using TradingView software. So pretty good since most of us we already know how to use TradingView. Then we have the buy orders and also sell orders. We can see the date. We can see um, the type here. We can see the amount um, spent. Then we have the amount of tokens. Um, we also have just the same as USD, but in Ethereum. We have the price of the token. We have the maker, which um, where the transaction is coming from. And we also have the transaction hash or the transaction ID. So let's go ahead and click on it. So we can see all the information. This is the great thing about blockchain is that I can double check everything that I want because everything is public here. We have um, timestamp that was taken 10 seconds, 10 seconds ago. It took 30 seconds to confirm the transaction. Transaction action, it was on 0 0.55 Ethereum for that crazy amount of tokens, 282,000. Um, let's see here. So you can also double check. So it is $1,000 gas fees and everything else so i can remove it 
and we can also use some filter so I can do buy sell buy sell add remove add or remove usually add and remove it is for adding liquidity to the project or removing the liquidity then we also have the minimum amount in USD so I'm gonna type uh, let's do 12,000 so it will actually remove the smaller trades so I can focus on the bigger ones so if I want to make sure if there is a whale let's do 50,000 and as you can see there is one for 100,000 92,000 96,000 so there is really some big trades here I can do clear then you can also add the amount of tokens we have also the same thing which would be from USDC um, USD or um, adding it in on Ethereum then we have the price we also have the maker so I'm gonna show you something here I'm gonna check another transaction real quick so I can copy the wallet address um, where is the wallet address from okay here it is so we have from you can come here paste apply so this is something that you can actually use yourself for your wallet or anybody else wallet just to double check um, some transaction we can clear it and now let's move to the right side here we have the price we have the price on ethereum we have the liquidity we have the fully dilated market cap and the market cap in my case i actually like to look at fully dilated market cap um, before looking at market cap at least on deck screener because fully dilated market cap is the amount of tokens available the total supply multiplied by the price but the market cap is only for the circulating supply so if there is some token locked um, they're actually not taking it into account and I'm okay with that but the only thing is that I don't know what is the amount they're using to calculate the market cap so they might be off they might not be calculating in the right way so that's why I would rather just look at fully dilated market cap then we have um, five minute stats one hour six hours 24 hours so we are already at almost 3x pretty cool then we also have some stats we can see the amount of transactions buys sales volume um, buy volume sell volume makers buyers and sellers now makers they are only taking into account wallet address uniques that means I can take a hundred transaction and it will not be added here as a hundred it will only be added as one because I am one wallet and even though I am taking a hundred a thousand one million transaction it doesn't matter I am only one wallet so it has to be unique from there I can also add it to my watch list so let's go ahead and do it perfect so here it is actually added here on my watch list then we have alerts so I can set some alerts it goes over goes under goes up more goes down more let's remove I can also trade it so you have two options you can click trade on Uniswap here which I actually don't recommend because first of all it is kind of buggy and second I've got some of my transaction failed here I don't know why so I would rather just click on this I would be redirected to Uniswap um, if it is the first time you're adding it then you can just click import connect your wallet and make your transaction then we have the pair created which was four hours ago and um, I'm sorry four days and 17 hours ago we have the pair contract address we have the um, contract address for the token for W Ethereum we also have here which is something very important that is the security so you can double check if everything is correct here we have buy tax sell tax um, honeypot if it is a honeypot that means you are unable to sell your tokens mincible which means uh, means that they can create more tokens has blacklist which is a feature whenever I say it, I run away from it because that means they can blacklist your wallet and you will not be able to sell your tokens so um, let's say I create a project and I want to be the only one able to sell it so in the end I might have a hundred people purchasing it and moving the price of the token up and what would actually happen is that those people they will not be able to sell so I'm just profiting from your purchase you're pushing my price my token price up and I will be only the only one taking um, some profits we can also check the whole account and some other information here we have some reactions towards the project 
We can also search on Twitter. So if we do this, we will get some of the latest um, tweets about the project. And uh, let's see here, we'll wait for a little bit. Okay, so first of all, all of these things are actually fake, uh, just scammers. So as you can see, um, with 100,000 RFD pool, launch, blah, blah, blah. So you can claim airdrop is live. There is no freaking airdrop. So please don't fall for this scam. As you can see, they're actually even using um, some check marks, purchasing some tweets, uh, purchasing some likes, the tweet and also comments, but all of those are fake, fake. So please make sure that the information that you're getting, you're getting it from a reliable source. Let's go back. You can also search on Google. And here you can check the information of the contract. So they have some tools. You can scan it on Token Sniffer. I'm going to click on it. Let's wait for a little bit so it can get, get confirmed. So as you can see, it is getting a score of 5 to 100. Um, and that is because um, Ben ETH, I think it is holding like 95% of the token supply. And there is some other um, issues with the, with the contract. So let's go back and we can also check on bubble maps, which is very, very interesting. And it will actually show the amount that <laughs> um, Ben ETH is holding. As you can see here, if we click on it, he's holding 97.43% of the supply. Um, I know that most of um, the people that I have chatted with, they say that there will be an airdrop of the token and so on and so forth. Um, but you can just use the same analogy for the project. Um, if someone is holding 20% of a token, 10%, that means any day, any time, they can just dump on you. You can also check smaller wallets here, get some information. You can also see some of the wallets link it together. So pretty cool. And we also have the converter. So if I type $100, it will actually show me the amount of tokens that I might get. And we have the socials here. Perfect. So moving on, we have the new pairs created. And this is something that you need to be very cautious. I've played with it. I've made some money. I've lost some money. I usually just do it just to learn about it. Um, but it is something that you need to be very, very cautious because again, this thing is taking into account all the contract address created, all the new tokens created. Um, they are not vesting if a project is good or not. So your research, uh, you will need to do your research before investing. So first, as usual, we can do Ethereum, BSC. Let's do BSC as an example real quick. And we will get the price age of the contract. We have um, some buys orders, sales, volume, makers, some stats, liquidity, fully dilated market cap. So let me show you the first thing I would actually look for those projects. So these are all the projects that are created within 24 hours. So just to make sure that you're getting on the right one, um, you need to have some filters set up by yourself. So I'm going to do buys just to show you an example here. I'm going to look for a project. So let's do this one. BNB SDS. This is one. So it is up 260K, 260K percent in the last 24 hours. Okay. So let's be real. There is 35 people purchasing the token, right? Oh, really it is seven because we have makers, which is unique addresses. So it is seven then we have only two cells so that means you are telling me that from those seven people that made the purchase and you made two hundred and sixty thousand percent there is actually no one selling for a profit come on makes no sense makes no sense so whenever i see that i would run away from it next um here is an example that i was checking earlier this is another scam here right here even though it has a lot of buys it has a lot of sales um, fully dilated market cap is at 2.8 million let me go ahead and show you what i mean with that we're gonna come here 
First of all, the first thing that you will see that is super, super shady is right here, the price action of the project. Like, come on guys. So it went from here up to here and there is nobody selling? Only one green um, red candle? Come on, makes no sense. So number two, if we go to security, it actually says that there is no issues. So, okay, might look something good. Then let's go to more. We do have the option to check it on Stay Safe, Token Sniffer, and Honeypot. I'm gonna click on Scan on Honeypot. And let me show you guys what we're getting. Boom, Honeypot detected. Run the fuck away. That means if you purchase that token, you will not be able to sell it. Even though you're actually seeing some sales here, those are actually coming from the developers. So you will not be able to sell that token. So the price will continue to go up. People will continue to get involved with it. And by the end of the week, by the end of the day, they will just dump all of their tokens, remove the liquidity and run the fuck away with your money. So you need to be extra careful. And even when I find a project um, that there is no issue on Honeypot, there is no issue on Token Sniffer, there is no issues here, price action looks okay. I would actually add another filter, which is purchasing only $1 of that project. So if everything goes wrong, I lose $1 and some gas fees, but I'm not gonna be purchasing $20, $50, $100 of a, of a project for my first purchase, and then double check if I can sell it, and then I am unable to. So I would actually purchase $1 worth, worth of, the, of the project, try to sell it. If I am able to, then hey, maybe I might add $20, $30 to see where it goes. And lastly, we have um, gainers and losers. So again, pretty straightforward. You can see the gainers and losers. You can add some filters. You can do the same with all platforms. So you can check for all platforms, um, Ethereum, BSC, Arbitrum, so you can filter the one that you're interested in. You can also add the DEXs once you add the platforms. And lastly, we have watch list. So if we click on here, you can see that I actually save this one to show you guys it was actually a scam. And um, we have some other projects. So if I click on this, I will be redirected to that project right here. So I can also remove it. So it is removed, as you can see. If I want to add it again, it is the same process. Just click add on watch list, main watch list, and it will be added again right here. Okay, so whenever I need to get access to a token um, quickly, I can just come here, click on it, and get all the information that I need. They also have a application for iOS and Android, um, but the only thing is that it is more limited. If you really want all the features, you will need to use the website. That's the only thing, but the application is still pretty good. So yeah, hopefully everything makes sense. If you find this content valuable, please drop a like. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please leave it in the comment sections and um, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.